right to the LIRR crash uh, and the latest on the investigation because we are learning more of what happened at Atlantic Terminal yesterday. The federal investigators interviewed the engineer today. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez was at the NTSB briefing and uh, she joins us now from downtown Brooklyn with the update. Hazel? Dana, NTSB investigators say the Long Island Railroad engineer claims he blacked out as he pulled the train into Atlantic Terminal yesterday morning, crashing the train into the end of the track. Investigators have also determined the LIRR train from Far Rockaway was going over 10 miles per hour when the collision happened. That is twice the speed limit. The engineer had been off for three days. Yesterday was his first day back from vacation, and he was coming close to finishing up his overnight shift when the crash happened. Investigators say the engineer also claimed he was not on his phone when the collision occurred. He does recall entering into the station and controlling the, the speed of the train, but then the next thing he realized was after the collision. The engineer is 50 years old with LIRR since 1999. Investigators say they are looking into his medical history. They don't know at this point if he suffers from any medical condition like sleep apnea. They are also looking into any possible equipment failures on the train that could have contributed or caused the crash. That's the latest here live in downtown Brooklyn. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hazel, thank you.